Hello everybody, Dr. Brad Nelson here. Uh, thank you for joining me. I wanted to let you know that uh, we have a winner for our two gold VIP tickets to our Discover the Essentials of Healing event that's coming up. Um, let me move the camera a little bit. Let's see, okay, that's better. Um, so let me just share with you uh, what you get as a gold VIP um, ticket holder, all right? And then I'm gonna tell you who won. <laughs> so uh, uh, let's see here, hang on just one second. I've gotta move my phone just for a minute so that I can read this. There we go. Okay. And let's see. Okay, so here we go. This event, the Discover the Essentials of Healing event, is coming up in Salt Lake City, Utah. It's going to be on the 11th and 12th and 13th of April. Okay. Yes, hi, everybody. <laughs> um, and so we're giving away. We, have our, we had our drawing. We have our winner. And I'm going to tell you who the winner is. Um, but first, let me tell you what the winner gets. The winner gets priority check-in, so no waiting in long lines. Priority seating, so in other words, um, you get to sit in the first row or two, um, or three, I think probably in the first row. Um, you get free recordings of the event. We record um, the whole entire event in high def, and so you get those recordings forever. Uh, you also get a, a Discover Healing plush throw blanket that has our logo on it okay so that's kind of fun and you get to have dinner with me and uh, our staff and so um the winner ready drum roll please the winner said this okay the winner wrote i love the body code because it has given me hope and confidence for embarking on a career and hope of uh, complete healing after decades of worsening symptoms from Lyme disease, I have such a passion uh, for helping others to heal. Who wrote that? Donna Shaw wrote that. And so Donna Shaw is our winner. Donna Shaw gets those two tickets uh, valued at, uh, whew, let's see, well, $447 each. So $447 times two comes out to... 447 times two, $894. Free gift to Donna Shaw. So thank you, Donna, and congratulations. And hello, everybody that's uh, streaming by here. It's nice to connect with all of you. And uh, yeah, this is kind of fun. So anyway, um, yes, wherever you may be from, and uh, we've got uh, Sylvia from Costa Rica and Anya from Germany and... Uh, We've got Jill from Idaho. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, we've got people from all over the place. So, uh, so yes, congratulations, Donna. That's great. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to, uh, to sharing dinner with you and whoever you bring with you. And um, so uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And I, for the rest of you, if you don't have tickets already to this event, you really should, uh, you really should just get your tickets you can um, actually, on this page, I think if you, if you look, um, there will be a link here that if it's not there yet, um, it'll be placed on there soon by Val. And hello, Helene from the Netherlands and Jackie from Kamloops, BC and uh, Oklahoma. Wow, let's see. And Turkey. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, and the UK. Hello, Kay. So, um, so yeah, hi everybody. This is this is really fun. So here's what I thought we could do. I thought it would be fun um, since uh, you know we have a few minutes here. I thought it'd be fun to do a live session with one of you. And um, and you know what works the best for this? Oh yeah, there's the link right there. Um, Discover the essentials of healing. So um, so yeah, if you're um, if you're in pain now, sometimes people get confused because. I like to work with people that are in pain, and the reason why is because um, 
you know, it's easy for a person to tell an immediate change if the change takes place. I mean, if you're, if you're at an 8 or a 9 or a 7 or something or a 10 on the 0 to 10 scale of pain and you're really feeling the pain and we release uh, a trapped emotion or we do something to you and the pain goes from a 7 or an 8 or a 9 or a 10 to a 0 or a 1, it's really obvious. I mean, there's no mistaking it. You know that uh, you're feeling better suddenly. And so that's why I like to work with people that are in pain, just because it's, uh, uh, it's easy for people to see that there's a change. And so, um, man, we truly have people all over, from all over the world here. Uh, and uh, South, there was somebody from South Africa, Alana from South Africa, hello. And, um, uh, okay, here's a great question. Beth is asking, do you accommodate disabilities at the seminars? Mobility and hearing challenged 90 to 95%. And so the answer to that is, is yes. And if we need to have, uh, if you need someone to, um, you know, to be right there, to be with you, we can, you know, we can manage that, not a problem, okay? So, um, so here's what I would like for you all to do, okay? Or those of you that are in, in pain, if you're feeling some kind of physical pain right now, since pain is so, so fun and so easy to demonstrate, what I'd like you to do is just write down in the comment area, and I'll see it go by. I'm seeing them all go by here. Just write down um, what it is that's hurting, and also on a 0 to 10 scale, just put down a number, okay? So like on a 0 to 10 scale, 0 is no pain at all, and 10 is going you know, to take me to emergency. Uh, who won? Donna Shaw says, who won? Donna Shaw, you won. <laughs> you won. <laughs> that's awesome. Donna Shaw, you are the winner. Yes, because here's what you wrote. <laughs> that was so funny. Donna just said, who won? <laughs> it's you. Uh, you wrote, I love the body code because it has given me hope and confidence for embarking on a career of hope, uh, on a career and hope of complete healing after decades of worsening symptoms from Lyme disease. I have such a passion for helping others to heal. That's what you wrote and you're the winner. So you're going to be having dinner with me and our staff, and you're going to be sitting right up in the front rows. And uh, anyway, fun stuff. So, um, and if you can't afford VIP, it's okay. You know, you can, uh, the regular tickets are still 197 through March 25th, okay? And uh, so what we need to do now is, is choose somebody that's, uh, that's in pain. So <laughs> Donna Shaw says, oh my goodness. Yes, Donna Shaw. Let's see, I'm going to click on that one too. Uh, hold on a minute. I don't quite still know how to use this thing. But anyway, um, all right, let's see here. Yes, congratulations. That's, that's really, really fun. So, um, so let's see here. Uh, let's see. You know what? We're going to talk to Janelle. Janelle's got low back pain. That's 9 to a 10. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up so that uh, uh, I, I can allow you, I can add you in. And so, Janelle, what we'll do is, um, let me see, I think you should be able to, or do I need to do this? Oh, here we go. Bring Janelle. Here we go. So I'm going to bring you on camera. So hopefully you're presentable. Sometimes people aren't. <laughs> I'm sure you will be. <laughs> Hopefully this will work. It's worked before when we've done it. And uh, it's kind of fun. So Janelle's got low back pain from a 9 to a 10, 9 to 10 range. That's really extreme. I'm going to grab a piece of paper really quick here so that I can write some things down. So hang on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How are you? We're fantastic. You look great. Good. Oh, well, you're funny. I was just laying on my floor just now, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you never know. When you bring people on camera spontaneously, you, you don't know what right, kind right, of right. condition they're going to be in. So, um, <laughs> so let's see here, Janelle. Um, so your back is really hurting, huh? Yeah, yeah. It, gi it gives out on me sometimes. And such. And, and it's your lower back? 
Yeah, lower right hand side. Lower right hand side. How long has this been going on? Just out of curiosity. Probably, I was probably. Uh, let me see. I'm f almost forty five, mm -hmm. and when I probably it was since I was about twenty eight. Really, that long? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you? Huh. So, what have you done for this over all those years? You tried any um, other thing, any things to fix it? I mean, I do chiropractic. I've tried to see if there were saboteurs. I've tried trapped emotion stuff. I've tried hmm. rolling it out. I've tried everything I feel like. Yeah, I imagine you probably have over all those years. Okay. So, right now, it's about, it's between a nine and a 10. Yeah. At this moment. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, so let's go ahead and see what we can figure out here. Now, remember, um, the emotion code and the body code, um, they really came about because during all those years that I was in practice, I, was, I had this private personal habit of asking for help from up above with everybody that I saw because I figured I needed all the help I could get. And, um, and so that, that's really where this stuff comes from. And so what we like to do before we start this process is we like to take a moment and ask for a little bit of help from up above and this is not a denominational sort of a thing you know it's just whatever you believe if you believe in a higher power then great and if not you know then that's where wherever you are but uh let's just take a moment here and i'll ask for some help for us all right just takes a second but that that creates a connection with the, the power that, uh, you know, that holds the universe together. So that's kind of an important thing. And I've, I'll tell you something. I've come to the conclusion that the, the highest duty of the healer is to act as a go-between for that higher power, you see. And, mm -hmm. uh, and so if, if, you're not, if you're trying to do this sort of work um, and you're not really connecting, you know, in, in any way with that higher power to get help, believe me, all you have to do is ask. It's not rocket science. It's actually really, really simple. And you'll be amazed uh, how much better things can work for you. So here we go, Janelle. Let's ask. Um, so you've done a lot of work on this low back. And um, so let's first of all see if we've got a connection. Okay. okay. So usually what happens is, and, and for those of you that are brand new to this, the human body has this amazing ability built right into it to set aside its own needs on behalf of somebody else. Okay. And so, um, so when I take that moment and I ask for help, for me, that's when that connection gets made typically. But let's ask now. I'll use the ring and ring test uh, method here. Okay. And, and what okay. you'll see, let me move all those. There we go. What you'll see is when, uh, when my fingers are locking together and staying strong, the answer that mm -hmm. I'm getting from my subconscious mind is yes. Okay. My body's stronger on yes and we, a little bit weaker on no. Okay. So, uh, so let's ask, are we connected? Yeah. I'm getting a yes. So in other words, can I act as proxy for you? And I, I get a yes on that. So we're, we're totally connected. Now, let me tell you something. This wireless connection, this proxy connection, I believe is the most powerful connection of its kind that, uh, uh, that exists, that we know of anyway, because it's, I think that every single cell in your body, okay, okay. Uh, is connected now. That connection has been made. And so uh, we can ask about your body and get really clear uh, answers. So let's ask, first of all, uh, let's ask, is there a trapped emotion that we can release that is contributing uh, to this back pain of yours? And the answer that I get is a no. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the body code. And I don't dare touch my phone because it will probably <laughs> blow up, okay? But, <laughs> But what I'll do, <laughs> oh, I had all kinds of trouble last time because, whoops, because I, I touched my phone wrong and then suddenly I was sideways and I had to, oh, right, right, I had right. to yeah, I had to end it early. But anyway, I have the body code in front of me on my screen here. And what, for those of you that are new to this, the body code is simply an organized way of asking questions. And so, and I'm assuming you have the body code yourself. Is that right? I do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you know, there's a lot that we can do for ourselves, but, um, but my, my opinion and my experiences, we can never 
uh, fix 100% of our own imbalances. Um, we're not designed to totally take care of everything that we need ourselves. There's always going to be something that you're going to need some help for from outside. That's just how it is. That's how it was for me personally. I mean, so um, let's ask, looking at the body code now, um, what we're seeing here, we're seeing the three main imbalances. On the left side, we have energies and circuits and systems. You know what? I can actually show you here maybe with this. Uh, there we go. Okay. With a thousand words. There we go. So, um, so we've got energies and circuits and systems and toxins. We've got uh, pathogens and misalignments and nutrition and lifestyle imbalances. So uh, if you click on any one of these, it'll take you to another place and you can find different kinds of imbalances that are going on. See, so, um, so let's just use this system and see if we can figure out what's happening. So um, this low back pain of yours, is there an underlying reason for this? And I'm getting a yes, okay. And there's always an underlying reason for things. Um, right, right, right. So what is the first underlying reason? Is it on the left side of the chart? No, it's not. So it's on the right side of the chart. So that means uh, it could be a pathogen. Is that it? No. It could be a misalignment of something. It's definitely some kind of a misalignment. So when I click on that one, it takes us to some various possibilities. Really, any tissue in the body can become misaligned. So there's, first of all, some kind of a misalignment. And is it, uh, is it something on the left side of our chart? No. So it's definitely something in the skeleton. The skeleton. So we'll click on that one. And that brings up the appendicular or the axial skeleton, which looks kind of like that. And then let's ask, OK, um, well, let's see. Is it appendicular or axial? It's the axial skeleton. And so is this something in the vertebral column or the skull? It's the skull. OK, here we go. Okay. All right, so some part of your skull is actually out of alignment. And you might think, well, what does that have to do with my low back? <laughs> well, guess what? Everything's connected to everything else. Right, right, right. I remember, you know, I had a patient right, once right. that had migraine headaches for like 20 years. And we finally figured out the, the cause was um, a misalignment of her big toe. And we corrected that, and suddenly the migraines were gone. They never came back. So anything can cause anything. So let's take a look wow. at this and let's ask. All right. Yeah. So what is this thing? Is it something on the left side of the chart? It's on the right side. So is it the frontal bone or is it one of the parietal bones or one of the temporal bones? It's the occipital bone. Okay. So if we're looking at this chart, it looks like this. So it's not one of these and it's not that one or that one or that one. It's that one the right at the base of the skull. I don't know if you can see that, but Anyway, that bone, is, that bone is not happy. Now, if I were there with you, okay, um, and if you were to hold out your arm, and if I were to touch that bone, your arm would go down. You wouldn't be able to hold it up because that bone is not happy, all right? So the occipital bone is not happy. So now let's ask, uh, why? Is there an underlying reason why this bone is not happy? And the answer is yes, okay. So we'll go back to the home page of the body code. And now we're back where we started, and now we're looking for the next thing. So this is, this is uh, building a chain of causality, basically. We know that this bone's not happy, okay. but there's an underlying reason. And what's the underlying reason? Is it something on the left side of the chart? It is. Is it some kind of in, uh, something in the energies area? It is. So we'll go to the energies area. And so is it something on the left side of this chart? Is it addictive hard energy or an allergy or an intolerance? It's definitely something emotional. So this is the emotion code. All right. So is this a trapped emotion? Okay. Yes. So now, so interesting, right? Because we first asked if you had a trapped emotion that was contributing to your yeah. problem. And, and your body said, no, no. But that's because it was, it was like one layer down. What was happening was that this bone mm -hmm. is unhappy, mm -hmm. but there was an underlying reason for that. Yeah. Sometimes, that, this is why the body code sometimes is so is so useful and so great because you can find these hidden things. So there's a trapped emotion there. So here's where we are, class. We're looking at this page. We have the emotion code chart. We've got uh, emotions in this column and this column. And let's see which emotion it is. Is this emotion in column A? No, it's in column B. Is it in one of the odd rows? Uh huh. Is it in uh, row one or row three? It's in row three in column B. So the emotion um, has to be one of these five. Is, is it confusion? No. Is it defensiveness? No. Is it grief? No. Is it self-abuse? No. Is it stubbornness? No. So this is actually an inherited 
trapped emotion. An inherited trapped emotion. Okay, so let's see. So inherited trapped emotions we get at the moment of conception from mom or dad, and they, they might have gotten them at their moment of conception from their mom or dad and so on. So um, this inherited trapped emotion, is it inherited confusion? No. Is it inherited uh, defensiveness? No. Inherited grief? It's inherited grief. Huh. And did you get this from your mom at conception? No. You got this from your dad? And did he get it from somebody earlier? Uh huh. From his dad, from his mom. So it came from your grandmother. Did she get it from somebody earlier? Yes. From her mom, from her dad. So it goes dad, mom, dad. And did he get it from somebody earlier? Uh huh. From mom, from dad. So we have father, mother, father, father. And does this go back further? It does. How many generations? Does it go back 10 generations? Uh huh. 15, no, 14, 13, goes back 13 generations. Wow. 13 generations. And did this begin with a male? No, it began with a female. Um, so that's interesting. All right. So, um, so Janelle, do you have any kids? Yeah, we have four kids. Four kids. Okay. Did any of your kids receive this energy from you when they were conceived? Uh-huh. Did they all get this from you? Yes, they did. Okay. All of your kids. <laughs> they got it too. All right. So, <laughs> all right. So let's ask. Um, and it's, so the interesting thing about this is, see, this emotional energy is stuck right here and it's imbalancing uh, and we could say misaligning even that occipital bone. And so, uh, you know, as a, as a, I used to be a craniopath and we would realign the bones of the skull and my wife would work with me and uh, we, you know, she would have gloves on and she would put a, a you know, hand in the mouth and she would hold a certain point, apply pressure in a certain direction. I'd be on the outside and you can move things around in the skull. It's really incredible. Um, people think the skull is very wow. static, but it's not. I mean, we used to take mm -hmm. people, uh, have you ever seen somebody that has one eye, like way below where it should be? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we would level those people out. They, those eyes would level out, it's incredible. But, um, but then wow. really as time went on, what we found was that um, um, these bones, these misalignments uh, in the body that occur almost always have an underlying reason. And that underlying reason is almost always, um, it's usually something emotional. Uh, it's pretty much always something energetic. And so do we need to know anything else about this trapped emotion, this inherited emotion? No, we don't. Okay, fine. So let's release it. So to release it, I'll go ahead and do that for you since I'm acting as proxy. And what we do is we just mm -hmm. put a hand over the governing meridian. We do this 10 times, okay? Okay, cool. So let's ask, do we release that? trapped emotion, that inherited emotion of grief. Did it release, and I get a yes, did it release from you? Yes. Did it clear from your dad and his mom and all those 13 generations? Uh -huh. And did it also clear from all four of your kids? It did. Okay, cool. Because it's really only one energy, right? It's kind of being shared right, in right. all these places. So Janelle, let's have you stand up now and walk around for a second. Okay. Now, when people are in pain uh, and you clear something like this, it's a good idea to go ahead and have them walk a little. Why? Because when you release something like this, um, you know, things start moving around that haven't been moving for a while. Things start uh, settling into new places and, and et cetera. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so on a zero to 10 scale, how does your back feel now? Um, I, wow, I would say it's about at a two. Ah, it's a two. Good. Okay. Well, that's pretty good from yeah. a nine or a 10 to a two, right? I when, would say so. <laughs> when's the last time it was at a two? <laughs> like when I was five years old, probably. <laughs> oh my gosh. Really? Okay. Awesome. Well, yeah, um, you yeah. can, you, yeah, you can sit down again or whatever you want to do and let's take a look. Um, and let's ask, yeah. uh, we'll go back to the homepage on the body code again. Right. And let's ask, OK, is there another underlying reason um, why you're why you still have some back pain? 
And the answer is yes, okay. Now, that we found that occipital bone was unhappy. Let's ask, is that mm -hmm. bone happy? It is, actually. So we fixed that one. That one's testing good. Mm -hmm. But there's another reason. There's another reason. And so let's figure that out. And so this next reason, is it on the right side? No. Is it an energy of some kind? No. Is it something in circuits and systems? No. Is it a toxin? It's a toxin of some kind. So the plot thickens. So let me show you here. We'll click on this one, toxins. And we've got all these possibilities. So let's ask what this is. Is this, a, is this something on the, uh, uh, on the left side here, the right side of the chart? Is it a heavy metal of some kind? I'm getting a no. Uh, is it some, uh, some kind of an excess? Yes. So it's, is it something on the right side? No, it's over here. Free radicals? No, it's one of these, the six pernicious influences. So this is from Chinese medicine. And uh, what they believed anciently was that uh, these energies can, uh, from the, the external world could get inside the body and cause trouble. So things like dampness and wind and so on. So let's see what this is. Is it something on the left side here or the right? Is it heat or dampness? It's actually this one, dampness. Okay. So this is an energy that uh, has gotten into your body. And so um, we can release this as an energy. Let's ask though, is there, um, is there anything else we need to know about this? No. Is there anything that's interfering with our being able to release this? No. So let's just go ahead and release it. So dampness energy. Um, so it just takes three swipes to do that. Go ahead and stand up now. Let's see how that feels. Did we release that energy? We did. Okay, so that dampness energy. Dampness. Wow. How's that feel? It's good. It's really good. Okay. Do you have any pain? No. Okay, awesome. No, I don't. So, um, Which is crazy. <laughs> crazy, right? Crazy good. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, um, <laughs> thanks for volunteering. I guess we're done. We can go well, back to the home page. Thank you. Sure, yeah. We'll go back to the home page and ask, okay, is there... Is there another underlying thing that we need to clear or release uh, for your low back? Anything else hidden otherwise? I'm not getting anything. So, so yes, um, remember that sometimes, sometimes, you know, no matter how much we do, sometimes there's something that you need to have somebody else help you with. And so um, the, yeah. the perfect example of this for me is um, two years after the Emotion Code book came out, I asked my daughter Natalie to work on me and she found that I had this inherited emotion of hopelessness and clearing that, this was two years after the book came out. I thought I'd cleared everything a long time ago, you know, but uh, clearing that right, made, right. made it, yeah, it made a profound difference for me and for her. And um, so there you go. Keep us posted and let us know how you do. And um, you should be fine if, if this starts to come back. Uh, what, what it will mean is that there's some other imbalances that are maybe, you know, coming to the surface because right, imba right. your imbalances will talk to you. They talk to you and the, usually it's the language of pain. It can be other things as well, but pain is one of the most common things. Right. So, uh, well, that's great. I'm glad we were able to work with you, Janelle. That was fun. I know. It's like Christmas. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, have a good one. We'll talk to you later. All right. You too. Bye -bye. Thank you. Okay, you bet. All right. Well, that was kind of fun, right, guys? That was kind of fun. So it just goes to show how, uh, how really amazingly easy this is, right? Um, and, you know, the great thing about this, it's not that I can do it. Of course I can do it. I've been doing it for years. But, um, but yes, uh, yes, the body code is, is just this beautiful way to open the subconscious mind, right? And to ask questions and get answers. That's really what it's about. It's a gift from up above to us. I mean, um, you know, we're living in this time of the world when we need all the help we can get, right? And um, so remember, this is, um, this is not about me. I'm only here for one reason and one reason only. And that is to show you guys what you can do, right? To show you what you can do, because you can all do this. There's nothing, there's nothing magical about it. Uh, it doesn't take lots of training or anything else. 
just a little bit. And the main thing is you just need to connect with that higher power, whatever you believe. And, um, and then allow that higher power to work through you so that you can become an instrument in the hands of that higher power. And there's nothing better, you know, there's nothing better. Really, It's just so simple. And let's see here. Okay. Wow, Christina's had neck, jaw, and shoulder pain for eight or ten years. Christina, let's see if we can talk to you. Can you, um, I'm going to see if I can bring you on. Hold on a minute here. I don't know if I can. Huh, let's see, hold on. Christina. Um, yeah, Christina, you can, um, uh, let's see, I'm not sure exactly how you do it. Uh, I can't seem to bring you on myself, so, so you, can, you can see if you can do it. In the meantime, um, uh, let's see, I don't have too much time, but let's, let's see if we can work with, uh, maybe we can work with Rebecca. She's got shoulder and arm pain at an eight. Rebecca, if you want to go ahead and, and just see if you can join and if, I, if I've missed any of you, um, I've got all these names and comments going by, so, and I'm trying to talk to you too, so it's, it's kind of hard. Um, let's see here. Yeah, but that was a great example with Janelle, right? I mean, good grief. She's 44. She's had this pain since 28. She was a nine, between a 9 and a 10 on the pain scale. 10 is called 911, and it went to a 0. So, yeah, let's see here. There are lots of different underlying reasons, but the body code makes it so simple, right? Because you just ask questions and you just accept the answers and you don't have to overthink this. Sometimes people overthink it. And sometimes people think, well, you know, I just saw a person who was dealing with neck pain and now uh, here's a new person with neck pain. It's probably the same underlying causes. Guess what? Probably not. It's probably different. In fact, it's usually different for everybody. So um, let me go back to this for a second. Here we go. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. This thing is kind of working, but kind of not. So let's see here. Yeah, and remember, you can find a practitioner to work with you. You can work on yourself. Um, but like I was telling Janelle, you know, she's been working with herself. Um, there's a lot you can do. I think you can fix probably 80, maybe 90% of your own imbalances. But to really get that last 10 or 20%, that might be what you need to push you, you know, over the, over the top so you can start getting well. Um, you sometimes, you know, eventually you're going to probably need somebody else to work with you. So, um, oh, yeah, and I did see this message go by. I, I don't do sessions. I only do sessions on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> her on webinars. Uh, let's see here. Let me see if we can talk to Mario. Hold on a minute. Here we go, Mario. Let's talk to you. This one does seem to be working. Sometimes these don't seem to, connections don't seem to happen. I don't know why. We'll see if Mario can get on here. He says he's got pain that's a level seven or seven or above daily. Mario. Hey, there you are. Can you hear? Me? Yeah, absolutely. How you doing? Good, good. How are you? Good. I'm driving, but I want. Yeah. Uh, I'm okay. That's okay. I'm excited. It's first time caller, so it's or listener. So. Yeah. Uh, Camilla mentioned you, so I'm listening. So I okay. joined. I said I might as well ask. Yeah, you might as well. Now you um, said you're in pain all every day, and it's about a seven. Is that right? Yeah, it's um. What happened was I got injured in 2010 trying to save my dad in uh, uh, the Sandy Storm, and I got the T3 to T5 infused, a little chip into my spine, and then the L5 plays Morse code on my spine, so it shoots a pain from the neck all the way down to my left toe. Oh, wow. Um, every couple seconds. Oh, so, man. And that's been since 2007? And I don't want to go. 10. Since 2010. Okay. That was the hurricane. Yep. Yes. Okay. In New York, out of New York. Yep. Right. Okay. 
All right. So, uh, so on a zero to ten scale, right now, are you are you in pain? And if so, where is it at the most? Um, the most is down in my left toes. It feels like I was a scuba diver years ago, and it it's like constantly spazzing, okay. and the toes won't ease up. So it's mainly there, and that's about an eight. Okay. All I right. Have, I have a high threshold uh, pain tolerance, they said. Okay. All right. Well, let's take a moment. We'll ask for some help from up above, and then we'll tune in and see if we can get an answer at all here, okay? Okay. All right. Let's see here, Mario. So I'm going to be uh, – I'll be muscle testing myself, all right, to get answers. So let's ask um, – is there an underlying, first of all, are we connected energetically? And I, I get that we are. Okay, so is there an underlying reason uh, why you're having this pain in the left toe? And the answer is yes, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the body code. And so let's ask, this, this first reason, it's really, it's super noisy. I don't know if you can, you might wanna mute for a minute. Okay, let me see if I can. All right, let me do that. Don't I apologize. Okay. I'm driving. No, I know it's okay. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, not, I'm not particularly driving. I'm in the car, but all right, let me find out how you get the mute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't don't have an accident. Uh, okay. If you need to pull over, go for it. No, I won't. Okay. All right. So let's ask. Um, there's an underlying reason for the toe pain, and if we're looking at our body code, where is that? Is it on the right side of the chart? Okay, that's better. Um, I get a no on that. It's on the left side. Is it a toxin, something in circuits and systems? It's an energy of some kind. So is it something on the left side of this chart? Is it addictive heart energy, allergy, intolerance? It's definitely something emotional. So um, is this a trapped emotion? Yeah. It is. So is this emotion listed in the chart here in column A? Yes. Uh, is it in one of the odd rows? Yes. Is it in row one? Is it in row three, row five? Is the emotion blaming or dread or uh, fear, horror? You have an emotion, you have a trapped emotion of horror, okay? And that's being horrified about something. Well, I try to save dad. He survived that, but we went through a horrific, we had no electricity. And he finally passed away three months later. I don't know if that's connected. Let's ask about that. Is this, uh, does this have to do with your dad? It definitely does. And it has to do with, the, with what happened, the hurricane and everything else. Yes, it definitely does. Do we need to know more about this? No. So let's release this emotion of horror. No. Okay. Just takes three swipes. And, okay. uh, and let's ask, did we release that? We did. What I'd like you to do is maybe just kind of move around in your chair a little bit. Just kind of, you know, stretch your back a little right. bit, roll around a little. And uh, and now the left, that left big toe was an, it was the big toe, right? It was an eight? It's all the toes. It's all the toes. But mainly the big toe. Mainly the big toe. Okay. Yes. Uh, how does that feel now? It's tingling. Okay. Do you have pain in there? It's it's almost like a little pain, but not the. Um, it's almost like uh, the closest analogy is waking up when you fall asleep on a piece of, you know, your body, and then it starts to wake up. Okay. So if you don't. Have, sense, so there's no pain in there at the moment. Um, uh, um, I would say it went from an eight down to it's around four it's a little numbing but okay not all of a sudden it's not as drastically okay good so so we got it to a four so let's go back to our body code and let's ask again same thing uh is there uh, is there another underlying reason for the the pain that you're having in the in those left toes and the answer is yes so is this something on the left side of our chart yes and is it an energies area yes so i'm looking at this map basically right here and I'm finding it's not over here, it's something in okay. here. Is it something on the left side of this chart? I'm getting a no. So is it addictive heart energy allergy? It's definitely something emotional. So let's go back there, there's something else. So 
Is this a trapped emotion? There's another trapped emotion there. Is the emotion in column A? Uh-huh. If, if you can mute again, go ahead. This is super noisy. No, I'm sorry. All right, let me try that again. That's okay. I, I don't know why it's so noisy. Column A. Oh, that's way better. <laughs> is it in one of the odd rows in column A? Yes. Is it in row one, column A? Row three, row five. It's in row one, column A. Is the emotion abandonment? No. Is it betrayal? Uh, is it forlorn? Is it lost? It's an emotion of feeling lost. Feeling lost. Okay. Um, let's ask about, since we're kind of on this, this uh, subject about your dad and, and everything, uh, did this result from, uh, from your, your dad passing away? Yeah, that's what it was about. Um, so let's ask now, do we need to know anything else about this? I get a no. Let's release this then. One, two, three swipes to release that energy. We're going over the governing meridian. And uh, so now, Mario, go ahead and move around in your chair a little bit. Kind of shift, you know, stretch your back a little bit. And, uh, and then let's see how that feels now. Um, it's gotten down and diminishing, you know, it's only the only pain, not the three toes, the four toes, smaller toes, but the big toe is about the only thing that's aching, but it's around a two now. It's so, about a two. Yeah, it feels okay. a lot, a lot, lot better. Okay, good. Fantastic. Well, isn't it interesting, right? That you see these emotional experiences that we go through, those energies can stay with us and then they manifest, they, they will talk to us, uh, by manifesting physical pain. Uh, that's just one of the things that they do, but it's one of the most common things that they do. But uh, there you go. So that, that pain that you've been having in those toes has really been uh, about what happened in 2010 with the hurricane and trying to save your dad and then losing him three months later. So gotcha. the good thing about removing these trapped emotions is when we release these things, they're gone. They don't come back. Um, there may be some more emotional stuff there with you. Right now, I'm not getting anything, but there may be some other emotional energies that might surface later. So if this starts to come back, that's probably what it will mean. All right? Okay. So there you go. Keep us Fantastic. posted. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Okay, absolutely. Take care. We'll Definitely. We'll talk Thank to you soon, so hopefully. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, that was fun. Well, you know... Um, Mario, you should, you should come to our Discover the Essentials of Healing event that's coming up. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, I think I might have time to do one more session if I can bring up my... Uh, and th these are short sessions, of course. We're just trying to, uh, uh, you know, just trying to see what's going on with the body. And um, yes, and if you're looking for a practitioner, you can go to uh, discoverhealing.com and you just click on the practitioner's button there and uh, you'll see, uh, you'll see a, a, a subset of our practitioners are on this global map. Not everybody chooses to be on there. Um, for whatever reason, some people are already busy and some people just don't care, but we have uh, almost 5,000 emotion code practitioners in 78 countries around the world now. We have... Uh, um, just over a thousand body code practitioners as well. Okay. So, um, again, we're doing this discover the essentials of healing event. That's going to be held, um, April 11, 12, and 13 in Salt Lake city, Utah. Salt Lake is easy to fly into from wherever you are in the world. It's easy to go. And, um, and so, uh, yeah, you guys definitely should come because, um, this is really the future. It's the future of healing. So, uh, all right, well, let's see here. Let's see if we can talk to Angie. And she's in pain eight to a nine every day. And let's see what's going on with her. If we can get her on camera, I guarantee this will work, but it might. It might work. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, and everybody's got issues. So, you know, really what I found during those years that I was in practice is that it's, if you just ask, the subconscious mind will know. You can find a practitioner by going to 
discoverhealing.com. Discoverhealing.com. And, uh, and again, you know, this event that's coming up, Discover the Essentials of Healing, is all about using this program that I've been using, the body code, and teaching you um, how to do it in a hands-on kind of way. So we're going to teach you how to do the muscle testing, and we're going to teach you how to do this at a distance and, and so on. And uh, there's nothing like coming to a live event. You know, we, we love, we're a live event company. We love doing live events. The energy that's there is so amazing, and uh, it's really incredible. All right, so let's see here. Angie Hansen wants to be in the video. So let me see if this is going to work here. Hold on a minute. I think that's going to work. Let's see. Hold on a minute, Angie. Hmm. Oh, wait. Is that you? Yeah, hi. Oh, there you are. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How did I pop up? I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of a mysterious thing. But the, the technology is actually really yeah. cool, right? Yes, it is. It's really awesome. Really, really fun. So just out of curiosity, where are you in the world? <laughs> Not that what, it matters. Like, where do I live? Uh, yeah, you know, east, west, north, in, south. Salt, in Salt Lake. Oh, you're in Salt Lake. Oh, okay. Salt Lake, Utah. Oh, okay. Well, mm -hmm. I'm about, I'm about yeah, four I hours you south. Yeah, I one of your conferences. Yeah, you look okay. slightly familiar now that you mentioned it. Uh, one of your conferences. Okay. Yeah, I was with Autumn Crawford. So. Okay. Well, cool. So yeah. what, what's going on with you? You're, you're in pain. It's an eight or a nine on the zero to 10 pain scale, and it's daily? Yeah, I have um, chronic endometriosis, okay. and now it's turned into pelvic pain. And so it affects my hips, my legs, my lower back. Okay. Well... All right, let's take a look and see what, what we can find going on with you. Okay. So uh, first we'll take a moment. I'll ask for some help for us from up above, all right? Okay. Okay, cool. So let's see here. So Angie, uh, I'm going to be using the body code. All right. So here we go. But we've got the body <laughs> code, right? It looks like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask, okay, is there an underlying reason? Now, on a 0 to 10 scale right now, what's your pain level like? Probably about an eight, but I do take pain pills every day. So okay. taking a pain pill probably has helped a little. Okay, but it's still an eight. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this body code and then ask this question. Okay. First of all, are we connected? Can I act as proxy for you? I get a yes answer. So, um, so let's ask, um, is there an underlying reason um, for this pain that you have? Um, and the answer is yes, there's an underlying reason. Now, listen, when you're doing the body code, but basically what you do, uh, sometimes the less educated you are, the better, because sometimes, you know, we, we get really, really educated, some of us, and then we think things have to be a certain way and that can interfere with our ability to figure out what's really going on. So, um, so I like to just have a blank mind and go into this. Uh, with no preconceived assumptions of any kind, okay? So, um, because the reality okay. of it is, uh, the old saying of the holistic physician is anything can cause anything, and that's literally true. So, uh, there's an underlying reason for yeah. this. Now, there may be several, but what's the first underlying reason? Is it on the right side here? No. So, it's on the left side of the, and I'll try to keep my hands up so you can see. It's so on the left side of this chart. Is it something in the energies area? No. Is it something in circuits and systems? Yes. Okay. So here we go. Here's the chart. I'm going to go to circuits and systems right there. There we go. And now we've got these choices. Okay. So it's one of these. So is it one of these on the left side of our chart? No. So um, is this an organ imbalance or a gland imbalance? No. So it's a chakra imbalance. So we touch the chakra button. And then we get all these chakras that come up. So what chakra is this? I don't know. It could be any of them. Um, so is it one of these on the right side? So it's not the crown, brow, or the throat. Is it the heart, solar plexus, sacral, or root? It's the root chakra. Now, the root chakra is the one that comes out of the perineum 
These are energy centers. They're like energy vortexes that come out of the body. This one is the one that anchors you to the earth, okay? And it's the one that grounds oh, okay. you. And so there's something wrong with your root chakra. It's not happy. Now, these are invisible. You can't even see these, but, you know, they're, they're real, and they've been known about for since time out of mind, basically. So let's ask, this root chakra, is there a reason why it's not happy? And the answer is yes. Okay, so there's usually an underlying reason for chakras and things. So if we go back to the home page, now we can ask, okay, well, what's the underlying reason uh, for this chakra to be unhappy? Is it something on the right side of the chart? No. So is it a toxin, something in circuits and systems? It's some kind of energy. So we go back to the body code and we're going here. So now it's one of these. So which is this? I don't know. Is it something on the left side? See, all you need to do is learn how to do the muscle testing, and then this is easy. Is it on the left side? No. Is it addictive heart energy or an allergy of some kind or an intolerance? It's, set, it's something emotional. So now we're on this page. And there's the chart of emotions. So is this a trapped emotion? It is. It's a trapped emotion. Okay. So what emotion is this? Is it listed in the chart here in column A? Yes, it is. Is it in one of the odd rows? Yes. Is it in row one? No. Is it in row three? It's in row three, column A. So we're right there. Row three, column A. So is the emotion crying? No. Is it discouragement? No. Is it rejection? No. Sadness? No. Is it sorrow? No, it's not any of those. So that means this is an inherited trapped emotion, which we saw a little bit ago with Janelle, right? So this is an inherited trapped emotion. Yeah. And is it inherited? Um, let's see here. Okay. Is it inherited crying? Is it inherited discouragement? Is it inherited rejection? It's an inherited emotion of rejection. Huh? So the plot thickens. Let's see where this came mm -hmm. from. Shall we? Um, did you get this from your mother? <laughs> yeah, sure. No, <laughs> this came from your dad. Okay. Your dad. Now, did he get this from somebody earlier? Yes. Good, because my mom's on. <laughs> okay. Oh, good. Well, tell her she skated by on that one. Um, did your dad get this from somebody earlier? <laughs> <laughs> he did. Did he get it from his mom? He got it from his dad. So father, father. Now, does this go back further? It does. Does it go back uh, 10 generations? It does. Does it go back 20? No. 15? No. 14? 13? This goes back 13 generations. Now, if we say 13 generations times roughly, you know, maybe like 25 years for a generation or so, 330, 331 years roughly um, minus 2019 comes out to about 1687. Holy cow. Yep. Did this start with a, uh, a male? No, this started with a grandmother of yours. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, hmm, interesting, right? Six, approximately 1687, mm -hmm. somebody, uh, some grandmother of yours, that this particular grandmother had something happen, and the emotion was rejection. She felt, she must have felt extremely rejected because... For an energy like this to become trapped in a person's body and then to be shared all of these generations, it has to be pretty yeah. important. Animals do this. You know, if something terrifying happens to an animal, um, they, will, they will share that memory. So that uh, up to 14 generations, oh. they've, science has found that up to 14 generations down the line, that animal will um, become, for example, very wary in the spot where it's great, 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 great grandfather was, you know, frightened. You know, it's really interesting. So anyway, that's what's happening oh, here with you. That's, yeah, that's really. Yeah. So do you have any kids, Angie? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, if you did, we could check to see if you pass this to them. So, uh, yeah. But, but by releasing this, no. we're, we're going to prevent you from passing this to any future kids that you do have, right? Okay. So okay. Yes. do we need to know anything else about this? We don't. So let's release this. We do 10 swipes, right? So that's 10 swipes over the governing meridian. Now we do 10, three if it's a regular emotion, 10 if it's inherited. Why? Because we are releasing it not only from you, but also from all these other people. I mean, if you go back 13 generations, uh, a lot of people might be able to trace their ancestry back to that grandmother of yours. So what I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to stand up 
and walk around a little bit. Okay. Okay. Now, again, when people are okay. in pain, um, I like to have them get up and move around a little because then sh things are going to be yeah. shifting into new places, et cetera. Adjusting a little bit. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Awesome. Yeah, that's okay. good. You can sit down. So zero to 10. Okay. How would you okay. rate it now at this point? It's probably gone down to probably about a five. Um, so the left side's really bad still, but okay. I'm probably down to a five. Okay. All right. So let's ask the same question again. And so how this works is okay. we go back to the home page on the body code, right? And we start here. Oh, wait. That's okay. not the home page. Sorry, I had a call that came in. Um, <laughs> I'm glad we're still connected and that they didn't just ruin everything. <laughs> Um, but anyway, here I know we go. I that. Yeah. So we go back here and let's ask, is there another underlying reason why you have this pain, especially on the left side? Is there a reason? The answer is yes. Okay. So we go to our body code and we ask, all right, where's the reason? Is the reason on the left side of the body code? No. So is it a pathogen? No. Is it some sort of misalignment? Uh, actually it is. It's a misalignment. So here we go. So we touch the misalignment button right there and it takes us Okay. Do it again. There we go. Takes Sometimes. us. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it usually works. But um, OK, so <laughs> anything can misalign. So is this uh, connective tissue or is it a gland or an organ? Something in the systems. It's actually in the skeleton. So um, when we touch the skeleton oh. button, it gives us, you know, the two broad differentiations there, two broad uh, Classifications, you know, the appendicular or the axial skeleton. Is it in the appendicular skeleton? No, that means it's in the axial skeleton. So when we click on this one, it brings this up. Okay, so it's one of these. Okay. Could be teeth, vertebral column, skull, or thoracic cage. I don't know. I have no idea what it is. See, I have no idea. Your subconscious mind is taking us there. That's <laughs> Not, the beauty yeah. of this, right? Um, I, I actually used to tell my patients, I'm basically clueless. <laughs> about what you need very true though yeah I, <laughs> and yeah. they would look at me you have no clue until you yeah like, what? Oh, i love telling people that okay so um this imbalance <laughs> is it something on the right side of the chart no uh is it something in the skull actually mm -hmm. you know what this is something in the skull so we touch here oh. and it brings up all the all these other parts of the skull okay and so Okay. Is this something on the left side of our chart? Yes, it is. Is it one of the facial bones? No. Middle ear bones? No. Ethmoid? No. Sphenoid? So there's a problem with your sphenoid bone. I'll see if I can get a close-up of this. This is it right here on the very bottom. This little bone sits inside of the skull almost entirely. And it's a really, really critically oh, important wow. bone for the circulation of your cerebrospinal fluid and so on. So this bone, we can say definitively... Oh is not happy. Is that true? Is this bone happy? Yes or no? Yeah. Definitely not. Definitely not happy. So um, is there an underlying reason why this bone is not happy? And the answer to that is yes. So that takes us back out to the home page to find the underlying culprit, right? We know that bone isn't happy. Reason. Okay. If I were there with you, for example, okay. if you were to hold your arm straight out and if I were to touch that spot either side okay. where this little bone surfaces, okay. you'd drop like a rock, okay? Your arm would drop like a rock. Uh, but oh, there's wow. a reason for this. Okay, so let me write this down. The sphenoid bone. So what's the underlying reason for this bone to be um, unhappy? Is it something on the right side of the chart? No. Um, is it on the left side? Is it an energy? It's in the energies area. So your subconscious mind said, yeah, it's up here. So we click here. It's a photo of my abs, actually. Just kidding. So, <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. There's the chart. So is this something on the left side of the chart? No. Is it addictive heart energy or an allergy or an intolerance? This is definitely something emotional. So is this a trapped emotion yep there's a trapped emotion up there lodged in the skull uh misaligning interfering with the function of that bone so what emotion is this is it listed in the chart in column a yes is it uh, in one of the odd rows yes so is it in row one uh-huh uh row one column a is the emotion abandonment no is it betrayal no is it forlorn no or loss no is it love and received Okay, well, it's Inherited Emotion Day here on Facebook. 
Yes. <laughs> it's an inherited trapped emotion. Is it inherited abandonment? No. Is it inherited betrayal? It's inherited betrayal. Inherited okay. betrayal. So somebody in your line felt betrayal at some point. Did you get this from your father? Oh, no. This came through your mom. So if she's there. Um, she passed this to you when you were conceived. Now, did she get this from somebody earlier? She did. So this isn't even her fault. I mean, it wasn't. Uh, this, this was passed to her, too. So did she get it from her mother? Yep. Okay. And does this go back further? Mm -hmm. It does. Uh, does it go back 10 generations? No. Nine generations? Eight? Uh, seven? Six generations it goes back. So six generations. All right. So that's roughly 150 years or so. And did this start okay. with a female? It did. It started with a grandmother of yours. Okay. Um, okay. Six generations back. So do we need to know anything else about this? Not really. So let's go ahead and release it. It's an inherited emotion. So we do okay. 10 swipes, right? One, two, Ten. three. Mm -hmm. Yep. 10, there we go. And so what we're doing there is we're putting energy into the governing meridian, which goes you know, right down the middle. And that releases right. that energy. Okay. So um, did we release that energy? We did. Did it clear from you and from all those other generations and from your mom as well? Yeah, clear from everybody. Go ahead and stand up and move yeah. around now. Let's see how that feels. Okay. Okay. Remember, anything can cause Definitely anything. Definitely a little bit less. Like, I feel like it's a two mm -hmm. now. Like, it's gone down a little bit, but very slowly. But so about a two? Like, I, the left side's still pretty, yeah, probably. So, it's gone down quite a bit, yeah. Well, it was about an eight when we started, right? Yeah. So, it's gone down a lot, okay. yeah. All right. Now, my, my phone like, is getting really low. It may die. But let's see if we can clear one more thing. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay perfect. You know, because uh, it'd be nice if we could get you to a zero. You're so, amazing. <laughs> it's fun, right? This is what's amazing. <laughs> so let's take a look. Yeah. Here's our body code. <laughs> so let's ask: Is there another underlying reason um, why you still have pain uh, in there? And your body says, "Yeah, there's a reason." What's the reason? Is it on the left side of the body code chart? No, it's on the right. So is it a pathogen of some kind? No. Is it a misalignment of some kind? It's a misalignment. Now, we, we had this misalignment. Is that bone still out of alignment, or is it still unhappy? No, your sphenoid is okay, but there's some other bone. Or, okay. well, it may not be a bone. It could be anything, literally. <laughs> so any tissue okay. can misalign. could be any of these. So let's ask, is this something on the left side of the chart? No. Is it something in the systems? No, it is a bone. Is it in the appendicular or the axial skeleton? In the axial skeleton. Is it something on the left side of the okay. chart? Is it in the vertebral column? It's in the vertebral column, okay? So is it the sacrum, coccyx? Is it one of the lumbar vertebrae? It is, okay? So it, it took me a little bit to get down to this level, but you can see everything is in there. And if we touch any one of these, it brings up more information about what's going on and, you know, what, what, these, uh, uh, what the connections are and so on. So what is this? Is it something okay. on the left side of our chart? Yes. Is it L5? No. Is it L4? It's L5. Four. Now, if I read about this here, check this out. L4. Okay, okay. let's see. Connects to prostate gland, uterus, muscles of the lower back, sciatic nerve, um, etc. So, um, misalignment symptoms. That is crazy. Yeah. Sciatica, lumbago, uh, difficult, painful, or too frequent urination, backache, you know, things like that. But, you know, you get an imbalance yeah. like this, and, and then, of course, that whole region of the body becomes imbalanced and less able to function perfectly. Yeah. So here we go, L4. So the fourth <laughs> lumbar vertebrae, second one from the bottom, is there an underlying reason why this bone is not happy? And the answer is yes. Okay, the bone is not happy. And okay. so if we go to the home page, here's the home page right here, we ask, okay, why is this bone not okay. happy? Is, the re is there a reason? Mm -hmm. Is the reason on the left side of our body code chart? Yes. Is it an energy? It is, okay? So now we're right here, okay? So it's one of these. So is it something okay. on the left side of this chart? It is. Is it something post-traumatic? Yes, it is. Oh, that's interesting. So when we click on post-traumatic, it brings these yeah. up, right? So it's one of these. Which one? I don't know. Okay. I have no idea. Is it on the left side? Of, huh? Is it psychic? <laughs> no. It's, it's a physical trauma, physical trauma energy. Yeah. Physical trauma. Okay. So the plot thickens here. So let, let me show you this one. It's right here. Okay. So if we okay. touch that one, it explains what this is. 
and I'll just tell you what it is. Usually, uh, when you receive some kind of a blow, like let's say you're sitting in a stoplight and somebody rear ends you. Well, there's energy that passes through your body and sometimes that energy just passes through you and maybe gives you a little bit of whiplash, but sometimes some of that energy might actually get stuck in the body. This can happen, you know, from hitting okay. your head, getting out of your car or from stepping off a curb wrong or, you know, can be anything. Um, and sometimes I've done all of that a couple of times. Yeah. Sometimes this is from an emotional trauma too. Sometimes, sometimes something really intensely emotional happens to you and it's like getting hit by a truck or something. And people even say things like that. Wow, that was like getting hit by a truck. Um, and the body can interpret an emotional trauma and it'll show up under this heading. In this case, was this an emotional trauma? No, this was actually a physical thing. It was actu an actual physical blow okay. that you took. And how old were you? Let's see, how old are you now, by the way? I'm 39. 39. Okay. Yeah. So when did this happen to you? Um, did this happen to you when you were younger than 20, between 20 and 30, uh, between 30 and 35, around age 36? This is around age 36, physical trauma 36. So, you know, okay. probably around three years ago. Does that ring any kind of a bell at all? It may or may not, and it doesn't I mean, matter. I mean, I was hit by a bus, but I, I was hit by a bus, and I had to jump out. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I've been in a couple accidents, so there's a chance. Wait, you got, you got hit by a bus? Some of that. Did yeah, you... it hit me, and I had to jump out the other side. How long ago was that? I think it was about three to four years ago. <laughs> Let's ask if that's what it was. Me. Uh, I, I get a yes it on that. It might not have been, but. Do we need to know more about this? Well, it's accurate within a year or sometimes two, give or take. So I think that's what it was. So let's release that. You don't often meet people that say they've been hit by a bus. But let's release that physical trauma energy. It was in my car. <laughs> oh, I see you're in your car. Well, that's better, I guess. Um, so let's ask. But still, yeah. Still. Did we release that physical trauma? We did. Okay, what I want you to do is go stand up now and walk around a little bit. Let's see how that feels. Actually, it feels really good. I, uh, no pain, really. No pain, so it's a zero. A little sore. Yeah, really, it's a zero. Like, it's sore a little bit, but zero pretty much right now. Mm. So, that's awesome. Is, isn't that interesting? I'm like. And see, the thing about it is, now, remember what I was talking about in the beginning, how, you know, sometimes people know too much. Um, the reality of it yes. is these, these bodies of ours are, so unbelievably um, sophisticated um, that uh, sometimes we we tend to think that things have to be a certain way. And for example, endometriosis, if you have pain, it's because of, you know, these cells that have migrated out of the lining of the uterus, et cetera, and there's nothing you can do and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But, you know, if you just kind of set that aside for a minute and you just ask the body what's really going on, you never know what it's going to tell you. And so, I mean, if, if the next person yeah. I worked on had endometriosis or is diagnosed with that, we'd find different things, but the end result might be the same. Oh, you know? yeah. So um, anyway, let us know how you yeah. do. Thank you for being on. My phone okay, li literally is going to die. So you, I'm no, gonna thank have to you. Go. Oh, you're so welcome. Okay, well, I'm going to try to come to a Salt Lake conference. So I think you'd be crazy so not to. <laughs> I know. There's no so I will go look at tickets. So. Okay, awesome. Okay. All right, thank, thank you. Thank you. See you, Angie. Bye-bye. Okay. okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. And that was really fun. So again, remember, uh, if you go to discoverhealing.com, on that homepage you'll see uh, it'll say join us at the Discover the Essentials of Healing event. We still have some tickets left. Um, we still have some hotel rooms left, by the way. Uh, so if you're looking for a room, they have rooms at a discount there. You can get a room. It's an easy flight into Salt Lake. You should come. Just come. And uh, we're going to be using the body code and showing you how this is done and how you can do this too. Let me tell you something. There's nothing better in the whole world than being able to help other people rapidly and in a completely natural, um, safe kind of way. There's nothing better. And so uh, that's what this is all about.